I'm going to the lake by Mount Fuji today. It was a nice sunny day, but very cold. Tanuki Lake is one of my favorite places to visit in my hometown. It's popular for camping, fishing, and cycling. We usually just come here for a walk though. It's a great place to view Mount Fuji. I can't believe people camp in winter. When I'm in the US, people often ask me. Nobody knows Shizuoka Prefecture, so I tell them I'm from where Mount Fuji is. Now I want ice cream. We came to a gelato place called Ideboku. Their milk is very fresh, since they have cows right here. I got a milk and pumpkin flavor. It was good, but not as good as gelato from Milkland. I guess some people prefer Ideboku gelato, but me and my family think Milkland has better taste in gelato. We got some stuff at the Milkland store. My sister made some deep fried shrimp and fish. It was very good. I got this mochi sweets from Yamanashi Prefecture, which is right next to Shizuoka. I often get a craving for this when I'm in the US, but there's no way to get it over there. It comes with this black honey called Klomitsu. It's kind of messy, but tastes heavenly to me. Mount Fuji was registered as a World Heritage Site, and they made this museum. I guess it was built by a famous Japanese architect. It's made with locally sourced Hinoki Cypress. You walk up the spiral walkway. It's spiral walkway and the projectors that show different views of the area are supposed to simulate climbing Mount Fuji. This museum isn't that impressive, but you might enjoy it if you like architecture and history. There's Sengen Shrine right by it. The top of Mount Fuji is actually a property of this shrine. This area never gets as crowded as Tokyo or Kyoto, and honestly, it's as nice as some of the shrines in Kyoto. Now I'm choosing cakes because I was in Kyoto on my birthday and I didn't get to eat a birthday cake. I think it's kind of like a taco party. You put whatever you want in the hand roll sushi. I ate a lot during my trip. I was stuffing my face whenever I had a room in my stomach. Surprisingly though, I didn't gain any weight, probably because Japanese food tends to be healthy. I don't usually eat cakes in the US because they're too sweet for me, but I never pass on Japanese cakes. They're not just tasty, but visually beautiful. I'm leaving my hometown and heading back to Tokyo. We went to a mall to get lunch. My dad got a ramen, very typical. My sister and DK got Indian curry. I can't believe DK ate all that giant naan bread and my sister's leftover. I had a Korean tofu soup. All the food here seem authentic because the chefs appear to be from those countries. Then I went to get bread for dessert. I got melon pan with whipped cream and melon filling. 
My dad got a coffee float. It was very tasty. I found bunny themed kitchen products at a dollar store. I didn't need anything, but I couldn't help myself. We kind of ate too much, so we went for a walk to a nearby mountain. There was an old actory restaurant that looks like something out of a Ghibli movie. There's even a bamboo forest area. Much more peaceful than the bamboo forest in Kyoto for sure. Now, we are going to a Peter Rabbit Cafe in Jiugaoka. It's rainy again. There are so many character cafes in Tokyo, and I love them. It's a cute terrace restaurant. They actually have an extensive menu, and it took a while for me to decide what to get, because I'm very indecisive. They have these cute afternoon tea menus too. I decided to get something from their lunch special. They have this old looking Peter Rabbit book. Lunch meals come with a cup of cream of corn soup. I ordered the omelette set. My sister ordered a roasted beef rice plate. There's ketchup flavored fried rice inside. It was actually good. I'd come back here. Each table has a stuffed rabbit. They have a gift shop where you can buy all sorts of Peter Rabbit products. Some of them were sold at the shop in Kyoto. I would have bought something but there's no room in my suitcase and it's very close to the weight limit of 50 pounds. We are now in Shinjuku to go to a Hanshin baseball team store because the other human back home is a fan of the Hanshin Tigers Diki wanted to go to this specialty sake store They have a wide variety of sake We had a sushi party again it's probably not a great idea to eat raw seafood right before a flight in case you get sick. But I didn't care. I'm all packed and ready to go home. I'm glad I bought vacuum seal bags because my suitcase is seriously full. It's a nice sunny day. DK wanted to go to a conveyor belt sushi restaurant before we went to the airport. A lot of conveyor belt sushi restaurants nowadays use machines to make sushi rice, but this restaurant makes them by hand, and it does make a difference. I ate a lot, but DK ate a shocking amount. We took an express train to Narita Airport. It was kind of like Shinkansen.
Be careful eating raw fish before your flight, especially in summer. My sister and DK actually got sick the next day. I was lucky I didn't get sick, but I've been hospitalized from food poisoning after eating sushi. Just like that, I'm back in the US.